Hey everybody, it's Shelley with your video tipster of the week. This one is about navigating the new Facebook groups. They finally have some sanity back on the groups now and you can actually have an admin, you can add question and answer, you can share your groups, just all kinds of good stuff that they've added back into the groups. Um, one thing I do want to ask since this is going to a national and maybe some worldwide audience, I finally listened to a lot of you that have asked me to do webinars. So I'm having a social media summer camp for those that are not in Houston. We're going to have six sessions. I have the information right here. Go to socialmediasummercamp.eventbrite.com. We'd love to have you guys sign up, log in, sign up early because you will save some money. So let's go ahead. And if you like what you learned today, you can, of course, become a fan. So what you're looking at is my profile page. That's, as, that's what you would see. However, when you are on your page, you will see on the left hand side, at least on mine, I belong to several groups and there they are. So it will show you all the different groups. So they've enhanced these groups. I'm going to go ahead and how do you even start a group? You would go, well let's make it easy. That's that shortcut again, fb.com forward slash groups. And it's as easy to create a group by just clicking create group. However, let's review a couple things. What's different on the groups now that was just announced? First off, there still are three means of having different privacy levels on who can see what in your group. Secret group is only your group members and yourself. Closed, everyone can see the group, but only members can post. And open is a public forum where everybody can post and see what's going on in the group. Now, this can be for family, business, whatever you set up, but the good news is it's now more private and you also can share photos and ask questions inside the group. Um, you can chat within the group, share documents, have group events, and communicate through shared email as well. So let's go ahead and create a group. You're going to give your group a name and notice that little icon is what's out of the box. You could actually have, pick a custom one. We'll pick a soccer ball and call this our um, Friday kickoff for business. And you would then go ahead and invite who you would want. So once you, you have to be friends with somebody. So once you start typing in names, you would add those folks that you want in the group and you would determine what it is open closed or secret so we're going to make this one secret I'm going to go ahead and create this group and now that invitation went out to those two folks to be in a secret group that I just created they don't know I'm doing this though, so they're probably wondering what's going on so there's my Friday kickoff group and when I click that open, now I have a group and anyone inside this group, it's a secret group, can post, ask questions, share links, photos, and videos. Because you are the admin of the group, you can actually create documents, create events, add photos. So they've really beefed this up. Um, let me show you an active group. It's actually not active. It was for a mastermind group that I had. You can see all this activity. Before, you could only post one picture. Now, you can post as many pictures and albums as you want. You can also ask questions inside the group as well. So that's really what I wanted to share with you about groups. I'd suggest you go and experiment, play around. If you don't want to form a group and then just go delete it, you can do that as well by going back into the group. This is Shelly with Springboard. Again, thank you so much for your time. Have a great weekend. And please do consider the Social Media Summer Camp and forward this to somebody that could benefit from the gift of learning where we cover a lot on social media. Talk to you soon. Hey, it's Shelly. There's two other things I wanted to mention that I did not. As we were talking about groups, I forgot to tell you, there are 50 million groups already out there. That's a lot of groups. And also, Facebook is adding, not, here's the like button. We all know that, that like button that's everywhere. Now they're going to add a send button. They're trying to figure a way to keep us on Facebook instead of going to a third-party email provider like Outlook. So if you look at this, 
the send button's grayed out, but this is what it's going to look like. When you click send, it's going to say which of your friends in Facebook do you want to send this to, which group do you want to send it to, so that's cool. And instead of just going on your wall now when you click like something, now you can actually personalize it and send it. So again, very important, something that I think again is just how Facebook has just kind of taken over the world. Shelly here again, thanks for that extra 35 seconds. I wanted to let you know about the new button that's going to let you share inside of email. Talk to you soon.